Koholo Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four corners of the globe. This is Brother Ariya. Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring this out. So, news clip. I'm not going to play it. It says Georgia couple dies from the Maxine Waters within hours of each other. And this, this uh, particular news is uh, saying that, you know, first the man died and then the woman died shortly after. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I believe they said like five hours later, she had passed away of the, uh, well, I'm not the Maxine Waters, the C, you know, you see it, okay? Uh, they claiming that because they didn't take uh, the Maxine Waters, Salakia, that that woe water, that beetle juice, that uh, that serpent sauce. They're claiming that uh, you know they uh, passed away because they didn't take any of that. You know, and anyone with uh, you know with, with any type of uh, understanding should know uh not to deal with any of this stuff man okay this uh that woe water is not gonna help you man it's not gonna help you at all and it's something that i advise and you know everyone from the elders on down the elder apostles on down advise you not to deal with man okay because it's not anything good gonna come out of it man Nothing at all. You know, I was telling the elders uh, last week that, uh, you know, my whole family pretty much took the uh, took that woe water, oh, that beetle juice, that serpent sauce, okay? Pretty much, man. <laughs> and the elder, the elder was like, yo, you stay away from them, you know what I'm saying? Because the ones that are, that are taking that woe water are the ones that are, uh, you know, in, in uh, spreading the infection, man. You know, everything is uh, topsy turvy, man. Inside out, man. You know, they making it to be one thing when it's really another. Okay, so pretty much when E Diddy says something on his news, you best believe that what he says, the opposite of that is the truth. Pretty much. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have wisdom in these last days and use, use your brain, man, in these last days, man, and know that you know you being lied to, man. You know, don't let, don't let this dude take advantage of you, man. I was thinking, and I could, it could be far fetched, but I was watching this movie, um, twenty eight days later, and. In that movie, it's about, uh, it's not really about zombies, but it's about this virus that was in a lab. And, you know, the virus got out of the lab because some people broke into it. But they had the virus in monkeys. And the virus was called rage. Okay? So, I was thinking, like, what if that's what, you know, they are... Uh, you know, putting in people now, man. And when they, when they, uh, turn on them 5G towers, man, you know, it might stir up something in, in, in people that got it to just go crazy, man. And just, just go all out and just start wilding out, man. And everybody out here, you know, doing harm to each other. You know, I was just thinking about that, man. I was just like, yo, the, what if, man? You know? Like I said, it could be far fetched, man. But you can't never put nothing past E. Diddy, man. Okay? And this right here is a lie, man. This is bullshit. I don't believe it. You know? If they did pass, it's probably, you know, from something else, man. Okay? Because this new, uh, this new variant that they have out right now is, uh, you know, it can be, it can be spread it easily. Yes, it's more spreadable. Yes, it is. But 
it's not nearly as, as deadly, man. Not nearly. So this narrative that they're pushing is BS, man. You know? But it's a scare tactic, man. They're trying to scare people, man, into taking that woe water. Okay? That that beetle juice. That serpent sauce. Okay? They trying to scare people, man. So the name of this of this uh lesson is wisdom, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta have wisdom, man. You gotta have wisdom, man. Okay? I'm gonna go into some scriptures now, man. Salakia for, for rambling for so long. Damn, I ramble almost you know five and a half minutes out Salakia. Okay? And Lord willing, Lord willing, this is edifying. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm going to Revelation. Revelation 12 and 12. Okay. And it reads, Rejoice thee, re therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time, man. And brothers go into this all the time, man. Okay, but you're seeing it more and more now, man. You see that this man's time is shortening, okay? And he's 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 you know he's he's pulling out the, you know the drastic measures, man. Okay, all types of lies on the TV and all that, man. Trying to scare the masses, trying to fool the masses, trying to deceive the masses, man. Salakia for that, man. My block is loud, Salakia. Dudes think they rough riders. But anyway, he's trying to deceive the masses out here, man. Okay? And if you don't have wisdom, and you're not rooted in this wisdom and this knowledge and its understanding, <laughs> yo, you're going to be fooled, man. Okay? You're going to be fooled into doing something that's going to be detrimental to you. Okay? So... You know, something that's, you know, it's going to hurt you, man. Okay? So, yo, you got to use wisdom, man. You got to use wisdom, man. I'm going to go to Psalms 11 and 2. Yeah, I want uh, Psalms 11 and 2. Okay, and it reads, For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart, man. Okay, and that's what they're trying to do, man. They definitely trying to get us, 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 uh, brothers and sisters out here that are trying and striving to be righteous, man. Okay. So they they getting that they they been in that bowl man they getting that weapon ready man, okay, that that woe water, that beetle juice, that serpent sauce, okay they getting that ready for everyone man, okay, and you already know what the end game is the MOTB man, you know we all advise you not to deal with that either man, okay. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart, man. You know? And you know this devil, he, he hates righteousness, man. He hates the fact that he sees us out on the highways and byways, man. He hates that, man. He hates that we're not engulfed in wickedness, man. You know? He hates it. You know? And you gotta watch out, man. You gotta watch out for this devil, man. Because he's out here... He's out here to get us, man. Okay? I'm going to go to Leviticus 19 and 28 real quick. All right? And it reads, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So we're not supposed to be getting any type of injections or anything like that, man. We're not. We're not supposed to get any cuttings, no tattoos, no injections, no syringes, none of that, man. We're not supposed to break the skin. 
okay? And in these last days, that you know, even if you try to tell Esau that, that's not gonna work. He's not gonna care. You know, he's gonna spare. He's gonna spare none, man. He's gonna be out here like a madman, sparing none, okay? But you know, you supposed to know, you know, in your mind and in your spirit that that's something that you're not supposed to do, man. You know, in these last days, we gotta hold on to our integrity, man. You know, like like Job did, you know. Like the woman with the seven sons did in Second Maccabees, man. Okay? We gotta hold we gotta hold on to our integrity, man, these last days, man. And and you you know, we gotta increase our faith every day. We gotta pray to the Lord to increase our faith. We gotta pray to the Lord to prepare our mind for the perilous times to come, man. I say that in a lot of my videos because it's so true, man. Those are things that you wanna pray for. You wanna pray for wisdom, man. These are things that you want to pray to the Heavenly Father for, man, every day. Because these are the things, these are the tools that we're going to need, man, to, to maneuver through these through these evil days, man. That's, that's what you're going to need, man. Knowledge, faith, strength, patience. Okay? You're going to need those things, man. All right? So... I'm gonna go to uh I'm gonna go to Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Okay? And that's the only thing that's going to make, that's going to have you uh, stable in these last days, man. It's knowledge and wisdom. Okay? It's the only way you're going to be out here stable, man. Anyone that's going to be out here going through the hell that's going to come. You know, if you don't have knowledge and wisdom, you don't have the most high backing you or the angels looking out for you, you're done, man. Okay? So that's important, man, to pray for knowledge and wisdom, man. From the Heavenly Father, man. Because you're going to need it. We all going to need it. You know, myself included, of course, man. All right? So, and, and knowledge and, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. That's right. Okay? So in order to in order to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you gotta fear the Lord, man. Okay, and you fearing the Lord, one thing you're doing is you keeping His commandments, just like I read in Leviticus 19 and 28, man. Okay, that's a law, man. You cannot, you can't poke yourself with anything. You cannot break the skin. Okay, so if you fear the Lord, then you're not gonna go ahead and take that woe water, that beetle juice. Okay, that serpent sauce. You ain't gonna deal with it, man. Okay, if you fear the Lord, you're not gonna do it, man. Okay? Alright? But you go out here and you try to tell people, you know, they shouldn't take it, whatever. You know, people don't wanna listen, man. They don't wanna hear that, man. Okay? They don't wanna hear what you gotta say. And them people are gonna... <laughs> those are the people that's gonna be running around looking for... For, uh, for instruction... And guidance in these last days, man. Them same people that don't want to hear what you got to say. I'm going to go to Proverbs. That brings me to uh, Proverbs. Uh, what is that? Is that thir Proverbs 13? Or is it 15? Let me see. I think it's 15. 1531. That's it. Okay, 31 through 33. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility, man. Okay? And a lot of these people out here refuse instruction. They don't want to hear it, man. Why? Because they hate their own selves, man. Okay? 
But there are a select few out there that do hear the reproof and they get understanding because of it, man. All right? But not many people listen to what you got to say, man. You know, I know a lot of people that already done got the shot ha talking about they, they having complications and things like that, man. Okay? And pretty soon I'm going to be hearing pe um, from people in my family, you know, talking about, yo, um, this one is sick or that one's not feeling well or this or that, man. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it, man. Not that I hope that any bad comes to them, okay? But I already told them not to take it. You know, I told all of them not to take it, man. They all know. So it's not like they didn't know. They they know. Okay. I told them don't take it. I told them I'm not taking it. And they looked at me like I had eight heads, man. Okay. So I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to see what the Lord does. You know, the Lord, you know, the Lord is going to be doing a lot of works out here, man. And a lot of it. It may be tough to swallow, man, because it may happen to someone that you love or someone you care about, man. But at the end of the day, that's the Lord's plan, man. You just gotta, you just gotta, you know, roll with the punches and keep moving, man. All right. So I'm gonna go to. Uh, whew. You know, I'm gonna go to Sirach. I'm gonna go to Sirach 19. Okay. And Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, that's all I care about is edifying. I don't care about how many views I get or none of that. All I want to do is edify and contribute to the body of Israel, man. That's all, man. That's it. That's all I care about, man. I don't care if I get one view or a hundred views, man. It don't matter, man. As long as you're edified, man. That's what's important. And this, this is an important lesson right here. I know a lot of brothers do, you know, lessons like this on a daily, man. Okay? But Lord willing, get edified. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 18 to, through 20. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Okay? The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. And the knowledge of his omnipotency, man. Okay? And that word omnipotency is, it means unlimited power, man. The Lord has, the Lord Yahweh has unlimited power. Okay, he's able to do anything. Okay, so if they come and you know kick down your door and say, "Oh, you going to a concentration camp or whatever," we're gonna kill you or what? What have you? So what, man? Okay, the Lord is able to do anything, man. You gotta keep that in mind. The Lord is able to do anything. He can save you from any situation, man. It does not matter, man. These p these these uh. <laughs> These, these Edomites are not in control, man. They may think that they are in control, man. But once you know that the Most High is controlling these people, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not scary, man. Because you know it's all a part of his plan, man. You know? And if you have trust in him, then you know that you, you're going to be okay. Even if you do, even if you or I do get put to death, man. Regardless, you know that you're going to be okay, man. Okay? You just got to, you, you know, because the Most High see... That, that you stood your ground, man. You kept your integrity and you stood your ground. Okay? So that, that in itself means a lot, man. That in, the, that in itself holds weight, man. It holds weight with the most high, man. You know? So, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to go into, you know, too many more things. Let me see how long I went. Okay, I went, you know, 20 minutes. Um... Let me read one more. I love reading these scripts. So it's, uh, it's comforting to me. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm going to go to uh, read this last one. I'm going to go to Proverbs 4 and 4 through 8. I'm going to read. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. 
Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not and she shall preserve thee. Love her and she will keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee and shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her, man. Okay? So you gotta embrace this wisdom, man. You gotta embrace this wisdom, especially in these times, man. You need that wisdom. You gotta pray for wisdom, man. You gotta seek wisdom, man. You gotta seek her, man. You gotta seek her like, <laughs> like when you was in the world, when you was looking for the weed, man. You know what I'm saying? When you was out there smoking weed and, and the, the person you usually used to get it from didn't have none. So what you had to do, you had to go out there and you had to seek, right? Okay? You got to seek this wisdom 10 times harder than that, man. Okay? Or for you sneakerheads, that, that was sneakerheads when you was in the world, man. Waiting in lines, going to different stores, looking for a particular uh, pair of sneakers. You know? You was seeking them sneakers, man. Right? But when you come in this truth, you got to seek this wisdom 10 times more than that, man. Okay? Because you having wisdom is the only thing that's going to save you from what's coming, man. Okay? That's what's going to save you, man. The wisdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And of course, the Most High being with you and having the angels protect you. Alright? But if you, if you offend... The Most High less and less every day, man. There's, there's no reason why he won't be with you, man. If, you know, Lord willing, you're, you're of the elect, and Lord willing, I'm of the elect as well, man. Because those are the only ones that's going to make it out of here, man. You know? But chase after that wisdom. Seek that wisdom, man. Ten times more, man. Seek it every day. Pray for it every day. Pray for faith. Pray for wisdom, man. Okay? Pray for protection. You know, pray for for a hedge of protection over your household and all the brothers and sisters' households, man. Because we're going to need it. We're going to need it, man. We at the end, man. We are at the end, man. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. This is Brother Ariel Shalom.